Now in Melodyne 5, you can edit faster and more musically than ever before, thanks to the chord track and chord grid. Switch the background to chord grid. What you'll see then is not the normal piano roll display. Instead, the pitches of notes that belong to the chord are shown in white, and in gray, those foreign to the chord. If you then activate chord snap, notes will stick to the white lanes. They stay at pitches belonging to the chord. Each time the chord changes, so does the background pattern. So you can let each instrument play along perfectly, like this piano sample. One bar long, one chord, copied several times in the DAW. Now select all, double click, and immediately the sample plays along with the song because all the blobs that were previously in gray lanes have now moved to white ones. Once again, the original. Pay attention to these notes, for example. See where they are now after a double click? If two blobs end up in the same lane, you decide which goes where. Endless possibilities. And remember, we began with a single loop piano sample, and a very simple one at that. So, the background in the Node Editor is a great orientation aid, providing you with musical guidelines to your creative work. How closely you stick to these guidelines is totally up to you, of course. If you set the snap to chromatic, for example, you can access the gray lanes using notes that aren't part of the chord. If you choose chord scale, the white lanes will indicate notes that suit the chord without necessarily being part of it. So, even with no knowledge on harmony or music theory, you can work swiftly and instinctively, but on a firm musical foundation. Of course, first Melodyne has to know what the chords of the song are, but that challenge is easily solved. First, make the chord track visible. Often you already know the chords because you wrote the song yourself. In that case, just type the chords in. To help you do this quickly, Melodyne provides intuitive shortcuts, for instance, to skip from chord to chord. And in the Preferences section, you can choose how you prefer to describe them. If you're using an Ara Da and the chords are already displayed, you can just adopt those. And anytime you change a chord in the Da, Melodyne reflects the change instantly. So here, the Da is controlling Melodyne's chord grid. What if you don't know the chords? In that case, ask Melodyne. Bring a few instruments into the note editor. The guitar, the bass, perhaps a keyboard or two. And right-click here. Melodyne analyzes the material. Et voila! You have your lead sheet. You can actually refine this analysis. Depending on the genre, for instance, you might want Melodyne to find extended chords. Or opt instead for a degree of simplification with or without slash chord notation. And since one and the same set of notes could be interpreted in different ways, Melodyne allows you to choose between the various alternatives. As you can see, chords in Melodyne 5 are extremely helpful. And that's true in all editions. Even in the smallest Melodyne Essential, you can display the blobs in polyphonic material, so the chords can be identified. And with their help, you can then edit the vocals or other melodic instruments. And from Melodyne Editor up, you can even alter the chords of polyphonic instruments. <laughs>